it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, in this video I'm going to be potting on my sedum morganium um, succulent plant. And this wonderful plant here, these are actually from two, um, this one was a cutting that was gifted to me by my friend. And look at it now. It is doing really, really well and desperate need of a repot. And this one was actually given to me um, as part of a package of succulents that um, I actually received from a guy called Jordan from um, um, uh, GlasgowGrowers.com um, and um, the, the succulents were lovely and I actually did a review of it as well um, and links up above to that video I made when I did the unboxing video of these succulents this was lovely and Jordan as you can see is doing really well so I definitely recommend them um, and they were, they're all lovely potted up healthy plants as well and so I'm going to put pop this one up next to the one I already had there and um, put them into into one bowl and I've chose this one here a lovely clay pot because it's a little bit heavier than um, the plastic because they obviously they, they go into hanging baskets over time and the weight of the stems would obviously topple over but it's not quite big enough to put into a hanging basket so um, a clay pot is going to be better so um, let's get going shall we guys now guys obviously I've got the, the clay pot here and um, obviously always make sure it has a drainage hole as well a little few tools for helping to um, pot it up and when it comes to the soil, I always prefer to make my own, I just check that's in the, in the camera, soil mix. Um, and um, we use a Johnnings based soil, which is like a loam based soil. Um, and we add extra uh, perlite or sand or grit to it to give it extra aeration and drainage. And we usually prefer to actually use grit as well as sand, but in this case we couldn't get hold of any grit, so we had to substitute it with perlite. But the most important thing is they use a well-draining um, cactus and succulent soil type of mix. And links up above to a video that I've already made on how to make your own cactus and succulent plant soil. And um, there I use uh, an example of using grit and horticultural sand. Um, but you can, if, say, if you can't get hold of the grit, you can substitute the sand and the grit with extra perlite, as I've done in this case. And um, then uh, let's get potted up. Now then, what I've got first of all, oh, the little one is the easy one, so I'll put that aside. And um, what I've noticed with this one is I tend to have a habit when I um, have, have plants going on the go. If I have little things I find that fall off other plants, I stick them in. As you can see there, they're little succulents easily growing from the leaves. And succulents are so easy to propagate, guys. If, you, if you're not sure how to propagate them, links up above to a video I've made on how to propagate succulents. It is so easy. You literally just pull a leaf off um, and rest it on the soil and it would root like any, as these here. Usually with, with succulents, it's good to wait a good um, day or so before putting them into soil to let the, um, the little cut part um, callus over, as I'll show you here. Uh, oops, uh, that's one that's actually just came off now and I usually let it dry up for a few days. That's actually forming roots already and um, they'll sort of send out roots and they're so easy to propagate. So check that video out, guys, if you're not familiar with how to propagate them. And um, yeah, so that's a little, a little tiny Apuntia pad that came off one of the plants that I actually stuck into the pot. So I'm going to actually separate that one. Now, um, easily squeezing it out. And here, and that's that one. And I say I'm going to gently remove, gently remove that on there. Obviously not damaging the roots, that's it. So um, part of that, yeah, I'm going to put that one, that little tiny punty pad that came off has also propagated. I'm going to put that into a separate little, separate little bowl. And uh, that's, I'm going to keep all this as it is. That's, I think that's possibly a mother of thousands also that sort of fell off and gone into there. <laughs> And uh, I always like to do the less damage as possible to the root system, the better. But it's always a good time, like when you're repotting all cacti and succulents, to check the root system over, just to check there's no hidden bugs. Mealy bugs are the most common ones, um, root mealies. But as you can see there, it's pretty good, which is great. And uh, then the next one, gonna gen as you can see there, put that one off. That's going to go potting. Squeezing the pots. Okay, that's come off. Again, good root system, as you can see, very healthy there. Great, and there's another little, the little ones that fell off as they form little babies as well. I'm going to be potting these two together and um, a little bit of soil in the bottom of the pot, like so, like that. And, uh, a bit more, and then rest in the plant gently, like that, and then putting the other one in the side. 
the one that's fell in. And then obviously what we want to do then is make sure that the soil is going all around, Oops, all around the edges. Now I've already made a video, so many videos on repotting cacti and succulents and uh, when it comes to repotting succulents, especially if they're not spiny, they're so easy as you know, it's, it's not like a cactus where you have to worry about the spines and it's pretty much like normal house plants when it comes to repotting them but the care afterwards is very different to normal house plants. Whereas normal house plants you go straight in and give them a good drink after repotting, with succulents um, it's always best to leave it just a few days after to let the, make sure any roots that could have got damaged have got a chance to repair themselves before watering again and what you can do is give them a bit of a, a light misting with a, a water spray just to settle the top surface of the soil if you wanted to um, but no heavy heavy watering until they have a chance to um, rest and then uh, give a little tap so there's all it all goes all in the sides and this is such a beautiful plant uh, as you can see I might leave that little tiny move of thousands in there till it gets a little bit bigger and uh, that's it and then all these as I say they come off so easy that one's already got little roots on it so I'm going to put that already in there these ones have just fell off so I let them do a little dry up just gently put them on the top of the soil but I won't press them in I'll let them dry up for a couple of days first but um, there you go so easy it is and again the label I like to label everything <laughs> Morganianum Morganium Morganianium bit of a tongue twister there you go, doesn't that look much better guys? Now just check that you can actually under the that's much better. And um, another one that's fell off as well. Let's place that there and I'll gently. And there you go. Ha. Oh, might as well include there's another one there. Might as well include the little one as well. This tiny little one that sort of hitchhiked into the pot. <laughs> and I'll probably use this one in there, a little light bit of uh, a tiny pot. And uh, I should press that down. So that means I've got the two potted up there. Little tiny up and tea. I'm not actually sure which one it was actually. It came off uh, one of my other ones I've got that I'm not sure what it is. But um, I'll soon know when it grows over time. Like that. And then these ones also have come away. So I'll pop that. As you can see, oh, they're cute the way they propagate themselves. The cute little baby plants going on there. I love it. And there. Uh, uh, that is not gorgeous guys and that on there as I say I'm going to be leaving this I won't be watering this for probably about three or four days just to let the the roots settle down it's in a clay pot anyway and it is it is the middle of summer so it will have no problem um, repairing itself and I'm going to give it a good good drink in a few days time and um, the same with the little tiny apuntia there so guys I hope you enjoyed the video I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from Ireland and until the next video guys bye bye